announcement for Daily Coast. Uh, you know if you're a reader of Daily Coast, we've recently upped to DK4, we're calling it, it's a new platform with a lot more options for group blogging. Um, we've added a couple of verticals. We have our cartoons vertical with Tom Tomorrow headlining. Uh, we have an elections vertical. And it's in a way related to this elections vertical. You know, we started out as a horse race block, as an elections block. How are we going to get more Democrats in? And then we recognized that, well, getting more Democrats in necessarily <laughs> isn't the answer to all of our problems, so we have to get better Democrats in. And that led us to how. How do we get better Democrats? And it's going to be through coalition building. So the next new vertical that we are starting this week is a labor vertical, headed up by Laura Clawson. Five. She's also been with Working America. A so, great organization. I've yeah, great organization. So this is this will help bubble up some of these issues, um, and help us hopefully make some of the ties between Wisconsin, Philadelphia, New York sanitation workers. We can find a place to bring these stories together and start working not only with our elections blogging but also with our issues blogging on the front page. Um, a lot of what we were doing with Wisconsin was directly related to the elections, trying to help push the petition process. We're doing the same thing in Michigan with the recall there. Um, so we have a very elections-oriented mission with Wisconsin now on the recall, but we need to expand that out into our general news coverage. Um, unlike Marcy or Susie, I don't live in a union neighborhood. I've, I've moved back to Idaho. I live in Boise. Idaho is a right to work state. But in Idaho, how many people know this? This week, state citizens came up with enough petitions to put on the ballot next fall an initiative to repeal the anti-union, anti-worker education bill that was passed, signed by the governor. So how many folks know this about Idaho? I've been so busy working on Social Security and Medicare that I haven't had time to write about my own state. What I also need to think about and what we all need to think about is how Social Security and Medicare and pension benefits are threatened. How these issues that we're dealing with in Idaho, in Michigan, in Wisconsin, all come back to the larger stories of the middle class in America, of insecurity for senior citizens, that this is needs to be a coordinated effort among us, but we also need to draw the threads through all of these stories. Flat, the FAA vote, um, all, all of these things do end up coalescing, coming together, and hopefully we can find a place using the great work from Think Progress, using Marcy's work on, on the auto industry, using Susie's coverage to try to pull together in this new, new labor vertical we have some of the main stories that we need to be keeping an eye on. Great, thank you. <laughs>